back to the Pipe Squatch channel, and uh, I'm here with a very special pipe maker. Uh, Y'all know how I enjoy my American-made pipes and the companies that, that are based here in the United States and, and Dagner Pipes, man. Y'all make y'all make the just kick-ass pipes. I mean, the Dagner I have is what? <laughs> not not Dagner, bud. Is it in Dagner? You're in the wrong shop. Oh shit. So Morgan Pipes, um, really great pipes that um, are, are based out of California. Sorry. Oh, let me get this stupid <laughs> hat. All kidding aside, I'm here with Chris Morgan. Uh, we are in an undisclosed location in California where he makes not just these, the Bones pokers, but lots of other Bones pipes and amazing other Morgan pipes. Blackjack, Arbutus, and uh, the Briar Cigar. The Briar Cigar. The Briar Cigar. Where it's like a cigar, but it's made out of briar, so it, it doesn't burn. There you go. It's uh, <clears throat> so it's just a, a cigar-shaped pipe, and uh, it looks like a box of plastic. It's an end mill box. <laughs> it's actually this is uh, this was recommended to us. Oh, nice. And it's great because you can reuse it. But um, I actually have a tackle, like a mini tackle box. Yeah. Like when I go fishing. That's awesome. So I just pack everything in there. So yeah, just a cigar-shaped pipe. Um, it is patent pending. It's got a reverse calabash chamber in here, which I keep forgetting I'm on a your water viewership or not. You know, I only have like three people that watch it. They're, like, <laughs> they're mostly gun guys. <laughs> you got my brother and my mom. Um, and it's got a, a chamber inside uh, behind the stem, so it cools the smoke and uh, dries out the smoke. And then you can uh, cap it, load it up, cap it, relight it later, and that's re awesome. recap it, it extinguishes. It's it's awesome for, um, you know, a big, big customer base we have is, uh, oddly enough, the firearms community. Awesome. It's a great range pipe because you can just throw it in your pocket. You know, oh, I didn't even think about yeah, that. Yeah, you just cap it. One of the reviews I read, the reason they loved it is because flying. Yeah. They could be in the smoking lounge in the airport, puff on oh, it, yeah. and if they don't finish it, they just yeah. cap it off, stick it in their bag, yeah. and they go on the plane, no big deal. It's it's big with that. It's big with anywhere that you don't get a whole lot of time to smoke. Yeah. And one of the things, one of the very few things that I dislike about pipes is you either got to smoke it <laughs> all hour. or... Yeah, yeah. The hour. The whole you, hour. You, you either got to smoke it all within that yeah. hour or shove it in yeah. your pocket and accept that you're going to have ash all over your pocket. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Jason actually came up with a cool way of doing it where he spirals a... Uh, this is Dagner again. Yeah. The one I was mistook taken for. No, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> uh, spirals a uh, pipe cleaner in there and you can lock it in. Oh. Yeah. It's, nice. it's kind of cool. But, I mean, that's... You know, he, there's never... A pair of pants that doesn't have a pipe in it. I mean, yeah. he's always he's always packing, so to speak. So <laughs> I am too, but in a different way, um, and not that way. I don't want to get another yeah, porno yeah, hit on weirdos. YouTube. Did you no. know about that? Did I tell you about that? You got what? I got uh, reported for porno when I did a Game of Thrones review. Awesome. Because I in one of the those. things I said that when Daenerys saw Jon Snow. Yeah. The humidity level went up off I, the beach. I did watch that. Yeah, I got right. reported for porn because of that. Why? Yeah, I don't know. But it's as like soon as mommy I, porn. I know. As soon as I went That's back to YouTube deal. and I said there is no nudity, there's no sex, and this is the worst thing yeah. I said. They didn't even like respond. They just took the hit off and put put the. It was probably back. someone was probably just being a hater. They don't like me. Uh, well, the uh, fly fisherman. The like the big the, one, the bright oh, gotcha. big one, fly fisherman too. What? So what's the biggest line you sell? Are you just probably? The biggest, like, like the hottest seller? The hottest seller. Bones. Bones? Hands down. Hands down. Yeah, Bones are, um, everyone loves a $39 pipe, right? Yeah. So, that's the biggest one. The color, which is Hey, cool. Red Briar. Did you hear that? Yeah, $39 pipe. Who? Red Briar. Oh. God, I bought this from. <laughs> uh-huh. I'm just kidding. If he got a little extra, I'm happy because he's a good guy. Thir 39 bucks, and um, it, it colors... It's, I mean, it's nothing new. It's an un, unstained briar, so, you know, tars will color it naturally. So that's what mine looked like, what was it, three months ago? Yeah, yeah. This is now. They just, so from your hands. That's now, pretty Now, awesome. if you have, if you have dirty hands, yeah. you know, dirtbag hands, then <laughs> it's going to go gray. Okay. Which is, some people dig it, you know? Yeah. If you have, uh, 
if you just smoke it a lot, which like that one, mm -hmm. that one turned out really nice, then it'll color from the oils in the tobacco. So internally, and it'll get that red bronzy color. We have a few customers, actually, Sarge, uh -huh. the guy that showed you. Yeah, the metal worker. Yeah, guy. yeah. His brother, Charlie, okay. is also a giant. Um, he, he, he'll, he only has like two or three bones pipes. Wow. He smokes it all the time, and it's like cherry red. Oh, wow. Like this deep fire engine red. Is that the one you sent me the picture of? Yeah. Those so red? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. I remember those. I mean, and I, I'm trying to figure out how the hell he does that. In fact, in uh, with um, Queen of Cobbs, I don't know if you follow mm -hmm. Queen of Cobb Nation. Okay. Yeah. Kaylee kept getting bones by up getting bone spikes. I saw that the video and girl. she was mad because she Dude, couldn't get it to oh, color. Oh, it felt so bad. Like, <laughs> yes, she, they, would, they would not color and then she she was like, you know what? Screw it. I'm just going to like smear stuff on the spine <laughs> and see what happens. I will, I, will, I have yeah. to admit something. So I use the beard oil and beard, you know, balm and all that crap. Yeah. Because I get like bad beard danger if it's like snowy. Yeah. If I don't. And I'll do this while I'm thinking. Well, I think mm -hmm. a lot when I smoke a pipe. And I get some. One day I did this and I went there and it kind of left this dark reddish oh, yeah. streak. And I was like, oh. Just, so yeah, I yeah. started kind of like doing this and that. I'd <laughs> smoke it with this hand because I was doing this. And That's cheating. It colored up really good though. That works. Yeah. That, a so, lot of guys do it. Jason actually does that. I think he, was it Jason? One of the guys, I think it was Jason was talking about that one video. He's like, yeah, just rub beard oil on it. Yeah. And then some friends of mine that this video actually may also be on their channel too. Okay. Breach Bang Clear uh, did an article on you, and they're doing another yeah. one yeah. coming up soon. It's a yeah. big, uh, it's it's not just a firearms blog, it's really a military kind of blog. Yeah. Uh, really good people, David Reeder uh, and all those guys. But they did some, and you had a lot of good response. From I them. had a great, great response uh, yeah. when, when Dave did it, and... Um, God, what was it? it was there was a recoil, like a little yep. blurb and recoil, and yep. then they did a breach bang clear, yep. and man, we had tons of guys, and it was awesome because it was you know, tongue in cheek, but it was a lot of you know blame these guys, blame <laughs> blame these guys, but you know I don't want to hear any bitching you guys with your thousand dollar <laughs> AR builds, and I don't want to hear it's a thirty nine dollar pipe, suck it up. I don't know what you're talking about? Yeah, well, I got all this money, money to buy guns, guns but. <laughs> Can't can't spend a penny on pipes. <laughs> but the thing is, like us gun guys, yeah. When I go out shooting at the range with us and it's outdoor range, yeah. I've got it and I'm shooting. It's light. I don't have to worry about if it whoops, yeah. yep. comes out. Well, yeah. one, it's it's, it's kind of got a craggy look anyway. So even yeah. if it chips, I'm not worried about it. It looks it gives it more character. Yeah. But if I can go buy another one for thirty nine bucks, <laughs> yeah. For the longest time, it was you had two choices. You had Cobbs. Mm -hmm. which are great i love cobs yeah but they have their place you know what i mean like they they're they're disposable at some point i know yeah. there's a lot of i'm gonna get a lot of flack for this there's a lot of guys that will have a cob for like 30 years yeah and they are roasted out and they'll still be <laughs> smoking i'm like no it's my favorite pipe <laughs> but with briars you get a lot a little bit more durability longevity yeah. out of it it becomes more of like an heirloom piece that kind of thing oh yeah um obviously i'm not expecting a $39 pipe to be an heirloom piece but you kind of get my point it just gives you a little more durability and some people just like briar so to go to what so. he just said i've been here for what three or four hours yeah um he's a little anal <laughs> when it comes to stuff this is going to last i promise you i just i <laughs> it, just because it's 39 dollars doesn't mean <laughs> it's not high quality because i got to see his I guess you'd say it's his Q, QC, not necessarily process, but I asked yeah, him, a, wait a minute, is this QC one of the flaws? Is this one of the flaws? Some of them are rough, though. I mean, <laughs> this one was them, rough, but I love it. You could probably find one in there that's, that's, it's rough. I, don't, I mean, here, this is a, there's a good example. This is, uh, like, this is, this is not too bad. Yeah, yeah. But, you know, some of this stuff right there makes this a bones pipe. Whereas it's not a uh, like a blackjack or an arbutus or. But as far as yeah. the draw. Oh, it's all it's the same internals. Yeah, yeah, the drilling is the same. It's the, all gonna be. Uh, and this one, I've showed it on video before, but since this one's gonna be on Bridge Green Clear too, you can see it's got kind of these little craggy holes, which, to the bones name. It's bone. Yeah, bones, it's right? like bare bones, yeah. like 
found some bone in the ground somewhere. Go, you should go check out my release video, dude. Yeah, yeah that's all. Two years ago, I did this whole thing, and I, I don't know how I did it, but I, I slipped in with the Tom Waits music, <laughs> and no one said anything. Like, I didn't have any blowback from YouTube. <laughs> there were no, and I, he must, maybe he doesn't have copyright restriction on this. Yeah. I don't know. But it was fantastic. It worked out great. It was good. Did you have it monetized, though? No. That's why I got it. If um, you have it monetized, they won't let you play it. Oh, I don't monetize it. Yeah, then you, know, you can get you can play whatever you want. So, one of my favorite things I saw on his bins where the bones are, he has the the name of all the the styles, the the shapes. So here's the stubby ants, which is really cool. I'm probably gonna end up buying one of those before I leave. <laughs> uh, the stubby pot, cobra, oval billiard, stubby Zulu dog, all the normal stuff that you hear. Yeah. And then. I see the droopy sitter. <laughs> the droopy sitter. I don't know. I couldn't get a better name. For and it. I pull this out. And it's like almost somebody took a oom paul and stuck a pin in it and deflated it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. But, you know, it, it, it looks like you've made like an oom paul. It's melted. And it melted. It melted. It left it's like you put it on the oven and it just kind of went. It's a but cool here's shape. the crazy thing. You look at it's, it and you don't think it's going to sit. It shouldn't. But it does. Yeah. And that's cool. When I was unpacking them, because I didn't know I was getting that shape. There yeah. Were, like once in a while, the way that, that bone, the Bones line works is anything that can't, because of quality issues, make it into the Blackjack line or any of my other lines, it goes into the Bones line. Anything that can't be in Bones line goes into a bucket, and I'm going to be making some, I can't talk about it yet, but I'm going to be making something out of that. I'll show that later. So if it can't make the bones line, it it makes a pile of shit line. It's gonna be, no no no. It's gonna it's not gonna be pipes. It's gonna be oh okay something else made with pipes. And I'll I'll tell you guys about that later. If there's any flaws, then it becomes a bones, and uh, it's that's why it's thirty nine bucks. There's flaws, you know. It's whatever. It's a whatever pipe. It's a pipe, no more, no less. The flaws aren't that bad. They're not that bad. <laughs> Honestly, over the when I first started selling these. Yeah. Some of the shit that I was putting out was a little bit iffy. You're like, eh, I don't know about this one, but I would still sell it because that's what it was designed for. But after yeah. you started picking up more and more. Well, it, if I walked into a shop yeah, and it, it didn't say Bones and it said Tavanelli, yeah, and it had that chunk, yeah. I'd be like, hell no. Hell no. But Because it's 180 bucks. Right. But <laughs> for what it is and the way yeah. you marketed it, which was brilliant, and that vibe of, hey, this is like your post-apocalyptic pipe. It's yeah. it's freaking awesome. It's the and kind of pipe that you can have one in a backpack, one in a glove box. You can have one in a jacket pocket, forget about it until next winter, which has happened. Yeah. Many I can't tell you how many guys are like, oh, shit, I lost that pipe. It was like my favorite. And then they find it in like their Carhartt jacket from last <laughs> winter. You know? Do you, do you sell a lot of the stubby sitters? The, the, the droopy, droopy the, centers. The droopy, <laughs> droopy, not stubby centers. The melted oom ball. The melted oom um, balls. No, there weren't very many of them. Oh. I, when I unpacked it, I was like, what the hell is this? And I I was like, does it sit? And I just started laughing. If, if y'all want one, there's two. Two. They're not going to be here by the time you put this up. <laughs> I'm telling you that right now. But there's a lot more on the site. I mean, there's tons of other pipes. And the cool thing, and this is what people don't really realize, I'm... Um, the way that I run the Bones line is that I am cycling through not just my shapes. Mm. I am cycling through a ton of other uh, catalogs, like from the factory. I'm cycling through shapes that got made in like the 60s. Oh, wow. And then got shoved in the basement because they didn't need them anymore. And then they dig them up for me and I have those produced. So those are not all my design. I had a guy that said the other day, he's like, thank you for, for making in America such affordable pipes. And I was like, I hate to break it to you, but these are not made in the U.S., but these are made by good, hardworking people who pay their workers a very fair wage. I know all the workers that produce my stuff. You know, a lot of people don't realize this. When, when I, had, I had a Ford uh, F-150 and my wife had a Volkswagen Passat. Okay. Turbo diesel. <clears throat> made in Chattanooga, Tennessee. Mm -hmm. And people would always say, oh, you got a Ford? Yeah, American made. And I'm like, sorry to tell you, the majority of stuff on this yeah. board was made in Mexico and China, yeah. and my wife's Volkswagen Passat was made more in the USA yeah. than this Ford was. Oh, yeah. But it's still a USA company. 
So same thing with this. You know, you're a you're a U.S. based company. Yep. Who cares where you get it from? This sounds silly to say, but it's a personal. I, I'm not. I'm not a vet. I didn't have the, right. the the honor of serving. So, but I'm friends with lots of you know men and women that do and did. Mm -hmm. So as sort of sort of to compensate for the fact that I am an American company who with you know I didn't serve right. but I like to support the vets as much as I can so I do little things here and there. it's not a big deal but you know like if if I have to ship one of a bones pipe to an APO or an AFO right they get a free bones patch oh that's awesome. a lot of these guys are gear junkies and they like to throw a patch oh, yeah. on their bag or whatever um, you know I do have a 15% off discount Nice. Our big thing, you know what we do, which is, I love doing this. My yeah. favorite part of the job is when we run like a, um, um, uh, like a, a veterans uh, support dog right. charity yeah. sort of thing event. And I, we've done that, oh God, I should say I, not we. I've done that quite a few times. And like we've done Semper Fi Fund, mm -hmm. which is a great charity. Do you give a veterinarian discount? I do not. Oh. Nope. Nope. Because you could get that as a vet. Oh. But, yeah, no, I, I do the uh, the vet discount. And, um, you know, a safe way to do it is if you're deployed. Yeah. I don't even need to check with you. Oh, yeah. You just have an APO, AFO, any sort of military address. I'll just ship it to that. And That's I'll, easy. I'll you don't even have to worry about, well, you you know what? This is a shitty thing. With my it's like yawn on film. That's right. I'm boring. <laughs> if, you, if you do contact, um, you have to contact me directly. For a military address, for, a military oh, address. for gotcha. some reason, my website will not offer it as an option. So there you go. go. You can contact me. And definitely do it. <clears throat> Get a good pipe. If you want to find out more about pipe smoking, if you haven't seen this before, and you're watching this on Breach Bank Clear's channel, uh, go over the pipe squatch. I've got introductory videos. I've even got a video on how it, can you quit smoking cigarettes through pipes. So. Did you do that? No, I quit dipping through pipes. Oh. Yep, I didn't quit. But surprisingly enough, I had a lot of people messaging on that video it, it saying that they quit smoking yeah. cigarettes through pipes. You, you know, a great one for quitting is um, Lane Limited Re Ready Rubbed. Does it taste like cigarettes? No, it's just it's just a burly blend, super cool burning. And mm. if you're uh, if you're a badass, one of those guys that that drinks um, Black Rifle coffee and and the Ooh. like. Yeah. That's what you want right there. What is that? It's so strong, they had to put an exclamation point at the end. Oh, I've got to see that. This stuff, <laughs> and it's cool because uh, if, if you do slip, Five brothers, if you, you can roll a cigarette with that too if you wanted to. It's a shag cut. Ooh. It is probably the highest strength tobacco you can buy. I think I just got a buzz from stuff. I love it. <laughs> I love it. But see, I'm, I have a stupid high nicotine. Form, so... <laughs> I think I got a little rush there. It was almost like sniffing snuff. That's nice. Well, Jason, thank you. I mean, Chris, <laughs> thank you for so having us, us. See, there I go. I even bought you I'm lunch. Us, all of my multiple personalities. <laughs> it's been really cool to see where you do your magic. Thank you. And not not all of them are outsourced, though. You get quality product from other places, and you make the whole thing from scratch. I do. Uh, all my handmade pipes are made right here with... That South Bend American nice made 1950s. Was on a battleship. It's on a battleship. That was awesome. I make it with that, and um, yeah, I do. Well, I do handmade stuff here, but my factory lines are for the cost-effective reasons. Um, they are designed by me and uh, made by my friends in Italy, and then I import those and awesome. I sell them to my friends across the world. And if you have ADD, don't come to this shop because mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. there are so many awesome things he's talked, and I'm just like, ooh, squirrel. It's a museum. Squirrel. <laughs> <laughs> squirrel everywhere. And for all you guys that are wondering why does he have an Afghani flag on his ceiling. Oh, I didn't even check. I oh, wow. I'll give a little bit of blurb on this one. Okay. So Sarge, again, right. did a uh, tour in Afghanistan. And his YouTube channel is... Metal, Metal Morphist. Metal Morphist. Yeah, great guy. And if, if you're looking for, like... If you you know like what he is is he's like the more well he's in Arizona now yeah. he moved but he was in in uh, he's in Tracy in California so okay um, big motorcycle guy um, and he started tinkering with that and 
he uh, he would just be like finding weird parts of things and propane oh, wow. tanks and cut and paste, basically, you know, cut and weld rather. Yeah. And uh, he made me a rocket stove. He just made a smoker, like a giant smoker. Yeah, that was like, the video he showed me. It was awesome. Just impressive, impressive skills. But anyway, so um, I sent him and his boys a bunch of pipes and carve your own kits. That's another thing That's I cool. love doing that. So if yeah. any of you guys, um, I don't do the carve your own kits at the moment because I don't sell Briner anymore. Mm-hmm. But like sending out bones pipes and stuff like that, I'm more than happy to do that to, you know, help out our boys. But um, Anyway, I sent some over, and they were so stoked, not with the pipes necessarily, yeah. but with the carve your own kits. They're like, sweet, we got some shit to do. <laughs> That's awesome. Like, the, the silly thing is, I just I didn't know about this, but there's so much downtime. Yeah. And then it's it's hurry up and wait, as they say, and then it's like we're busy for like a week straight, day yeah, in, cool. day out, and then they have so much time on their hands. And a lot of guys enjoy woodland yeah. wood and stuff. So a lot, a lot of them made the pipes out of the kits. Um, and I just, I loved seeing it, but then Sarge said, like, what do you, what do you want from here? And I'm like, I want something that I can't get anywhere else. Yeah. If you, you know, want to send me something. And so he came back with the Afghani flag signed by his entire That's awesome. unit and, uh, and a, and a, a beautiful handmade Shema. That is cool. If I'm, am I pronouncing that right? Yeah, Shema. I don't know why it sounds weird when I say it. Well, you want to say Shema. <laughs> Shema. Shema. But, uh. Nice scarf. But anyways, yeah. Check out. Yeah. Check, check out. Check out. Check out. Check out. Okay, I gotta edit that Shit. one. Jeez. Morganpipes.com. Get you a bones pipe if you want to get something even nicer. Get one of the Arbutus. Yes. I said it right. Sweet. And there's a black version too of the Arbutus. It's a special, won't be coming back. So it's that finish mm. but with black. So our Arbutus is strawberry wood or we'll just for the benefit of the conversation will say it's like briar but it's not right uh when you sandblast it, it the grain in it is extremely different yeah so it's not always it's crazy. almost thicker it's thick grain yeah um and what's cool is the bird's eye on it looks like strawberry seeds and that's not why they call it strawberry wood. oh i didn't even notice that yeah they actually call it strawberry wood because it produces a fruit and edible sour berry that looks like a strawberry oh that's cool it's madrone and it so feels a little lighter too a little lighter smokes a little sweeter and they're ah, they're slightly less durable and what are those around here just depends and on those are 139 design. no so, matter what design uh all our beetles are 139 oh, all nice. blackjacks are 119 all bones are 39 and briar cigars 140 and 160. morganpipes.com yep. check them out Check out, it's your YouTube channel, it's just Morgan Pipes, right? Morgan Pipes on YouTube, Morgan Pipes on Instagram, all of them. Morgan Pipes on Facebook. Easy. I got in on it, and I bought up all my spots. <laughs> I pissed on all my trees, and I was like, okay. I want them I'm, all. I want them all. Twitter. I don't use Twitter. Twitter's no. confusing, man. I, the only thing I use Twitter for is I link my Instagram to it, so yeah. it looks like I'm posting something, yeah, but I'm really yeah. not. I, that's like 90% of the people on there. Yeah. I don't know. I mean... I don't know. What re- I don't even know how to use it. I don't know what like Trump re- does. Retweeting. <laughs> Are you sh- he does. He got really good at that, didn't yeah, he? For an he, old fart. He uses Twitter really well. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, thanks. And remember, keep your bikes loaded. Slow down. Collapse bikes. Enjoy life. Thanks, guys.